Hey, what's up, guys? Here is another episode of your Car Facts channel. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about the spark plugs. Spark plugs on your car is one of the most important parts, important components of the EFI, which is a electronic fuel injection. Why it's important? Well, first of all, because it's the one that helps to bring the spark to the combustion to was to finish the four cycles of the internal combustion engine well I want, we're gonna be talking about five things yet that you didn't know about spark plugs five things that you don't know about spark plugs that's the topic of this video first of all the first thing do you guys noticed this stain that you see the orange stain that it looks like corrosion on this part of the porcelain or porcelain I don't know how is how, how to say it well do you guys know that this stain that you see here it's created because when the spark plug it's working it creates a magnetic field because of the spark because of the electricity that is passing through and this magnetic field starts to absorb the, the debris and little little particles it also maybe or maybe maybe it also absorb uh, humidity and that's why it creates this thing right here there is nothing wrong about it it doesn't mean it's, it's not working properly any spark plug any spark plug uh, after a while it will have this kind of stain so it's not it's nothing serious it's nothing that it will cause damage to your car to the engine that's the first thing you gotta guess you guys gotta know about spark plugs another thing when you buy spark plugs when you're gonna change the spark plugs on your car make sure it's calibrated to the cards or let's say the engine specification on your car. You have to check the manual, the service manual of your car and check what's the, the, the calibration of this part right here that you see, of this right here, this gap. The calibration of the gap, of a spark plug gap. It's called gap, I forgot about that that name that word sorry my english not that good i've been uh, out of the united states for a long time now i'm starting forgetting my english forgetting my english so it's not that good well if you buy the spark plug make sure you check the calibration they may tell you the auto parts store may tell you oh, oh don't don't worry about it they they are already uh, calibrated but it's not true. You never know. And if the spark plug is not calibrated the right way or with the right gap, your engine is not going to run properly. It's going to start uh, doing some weird things, weird symptoms. And you might think it's another thing. You might think it's a sensor or something else. And no, the problem could be just the gap of the spark plug. In order to measure in order to calibrate it, we use this tool right here that you can buy on the, on the parts store. On the auto parts store. You see the brand right there. I'm not doing any kind of publicity. I'm not doing any kind of promotion. I'm going to turn it the other way. So this is the, the tool that you need. There are some different ones, but this is the, the most basic one and the easiest to use. So this will be that second thing that you didn't know about spark plug. Let's go to the third one. The third thing that you didn't know about the spark plug, or let's say about this tool right here, you might think that this hole, this hole that you see here, is to put them on your on your keychain. But it's not true. If somebody tell you, oh, this this hole is just to put it on your on your keychain, and and that way you you won't lose it. No, no, that's not the right information. This hole right here. Is to, I'm sorry. Is to open 
the gap of the spark plug. Let me show you how to use it. Let me show you. Okay, so we, we have here the spark plug. We have here the calibrating, uh, calibrating tool. You put it right here and you open it. You press up and you open the gap. That's the way you calibrate it. If you're gonna close it a little bit more with this tool, you, just, you can just do this. That's the thing you have to do. And then in order to know the calibration, you just put it right there, like that. There, and you start to put them on the right gap. Normally it's around 35 now, 0 0.035, I mean 0 0.35. So it has to be like that. So this one is a little bit op open. So you do this way, there, and you start measuring again. That's the way you have to do it. This is another thing that you didn't know, that this little hole is to open the gap. Make sure when you're gonna put uh, iridium, Iridium uh, spark plugs, be careful. Be careful to open it if they're not calibrated at the right the right, um, right number because you can damage, they can damage the iridium uh, part from here. So make sure you're, you don't break it instead of fixing it. <laughs> so that's the third thing you need to know about spark plugs, my friends. Let's go to the fourth one. The, third, the fourth one, the fourth thing you need to know about spark plugs, my friend, is that it has two functions. You might think, oh, it only has the function of bringing the spark to the cylinder. No, it has another function. It's to cooling down, to cool down the cylinder, the combustion chamber cylinder. That's another function of the spark plug. To reduce the temperature and the second one, which is bringing the spark. That's, those are the two main functions of the spark plug. I know that you guys didn't know about this function, but now you know it. And let's go to the fifth one and the last, the last uh, thing that you didn't know about the spark plugs. The last, last thing you didn't know about the spark plug is that you cannot use the same spark plug on different cars. What I mean with this is uh, if your car takes iridium spark plugs, you cannot put the same iridium spark plugs on your older car. And it goes like this, let me let me tell you. If you have an a, a older car, let's, let's, let's say a 70s, 80s car, that it has a conventional distributor, you have to put Cooper spark plug, Cooper spark plugs. If you have an electronic distributor car, let's say from 90s, then you have to put platinum, platinum spark plugs. If you have a car that has a coil package type or waste spark system on the ignition, you have to put double platinum spark plugs. And if you have coil over plug system, the newest cars, you have to put iridium spark plugs. Iridium spark plugs are really uh, hard to break them. Uh, they, they, they last way longer than any other type of spark plug, the iridium ones, but you cannot use them on older cars because they're not gonna be, you will feel like the car that is losing power, so I don't want you to, I, w I don't want to have a so buy the right spark plug for your car. I repeat, cars with conventional distributor, copper spark plugs. Cars with electronic distributor, platinum spark plugs. Cars with, with uh, coil package or weight spark system, double platinum spark plug. Coil over plug or let's say one of those, uh, the newest cars that has a coil on each cylinder, on each spark, spark plug, then you have to use iridium. 
you can you can also use double platinum but iridium will last longer so that's the way how it goes my friends with the spark plugs hope you guys like this information see you on the next episode of your car facts